Hello all, welcome everyone. Today I'm starting a new video podcast, which is Terraform tutorial series, where we will explore how to manage your infrastructure as a code using Terraform. Terraform is an open source tool that allows you to define and provision your infrastructure using simple but a declarative language. Whether you are deploying resource on AWS, Azure, or Google Cloud, or any other cloud provider, even in on-premises VMware also, you can deploy the resources as you need. So Terraform can help you to automate and streamline your workflow. In this series, we will cover the basics of Terraform, including how to write Terraform code, how to manage state, and how to create reusable modules. We will also dive into the more advanced topics, like how you can use Terraform with AWS, or creating your multiple resources with custom providers also. And whether you're new to Terraform or are looking to level up your skills, this series has something for everyone. So sit and grab a coffee and join us to explore the world of Infraxor as a code with Terraform. And at the same time, I'll post you in the link in the uh, below description where I wrote a blog on infrastructure battle between Terraform and uh, CloudFormation and Polomi. So you can go through that. There I described more detailing comparison with the real-time scenarios that will might be handy for you. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with the latest episodes in this series. Let's get started. So today start with it, you know, just let's go about what is a Terraform. As I mentioned earlier, Terraform is an open source. And at the same time, Terraform also have an enterprise version. So, but Terraform open source will be much, much, you know, uh, convenient and much, much would be easy for you to make it available. So Terraform actually, you know, uh, because when I started uh, 15 years ago, when I want to provision any resources, it could be a server or it could be uh, just subnet or an IP allocation or whatever it might be required to run a server or maybe a hard disk. You know, I used to do a sequence of checklists. So I need to follow the standards based on my organization. So checklist will be like allocating a server, then allocating a hard disk, allocating IP address, allocating a DNS name, which is host name in the case. Like, you know, there is a checklist of uh, the provision of VM. And after provision also, you know, how I'm going to manage this inventory, the life cycle of the server. Like if I want to decom it, how I'm going to do that? It's a, it's a manual effort a lot. And every time when different people are being available in a shift or different people are being available across the organization, you know, the process would be likely different and it's not consistent across the board. That's the biggest challenge. So inventory is manual. And if they want to follow the recycle of life cycle of your server, like, you know, decommissioning and reprovisioning, this are all as a big headache. That's where infrastructure code has came into existence. Initially, when AWS was doing that using the cloud formation, but that is not a cloud agnostic. You have uh, limited uh, you know, capabilities on the cloud formation, which you can do only with the AWS. Then HashiCorp came with Terraform, which is a revolutionary, as, as I can say, because Terraform is a cloud agnostic. And one of the other advantages, you know, Terraform, you can divide, define infrastructure as a code which means you can version it, you can test it, you can automate it, and you know, just like any other software application. So earlier, we don't have that kind of flexibility. And the other the other advantage is, you know, declarative configuration, because you can allow to define the desired state of your infrastructure. Because if you, are, if you are at state A, and if you want to go to state B, you know, of your infrastructure, you, know, you can declare it how you want to go about it. And the other advantage is, you know, resource graph. Especially Terraform creates dependency graph for your infrastructure resource, allowing you to determine the correct audit resource to be created. So that, that's your, a pain point it can remove from you. And you know, you can have a plan preview and you can have a state management. So state management, I'm going to talk very detailing in coming videos, but you know, it will help you to keep track the current state of your infrastructure and can be used to update in safe and controlled manner in going forward. And what are the best benefits, uh, you know, of using a Terraform? I would, my personal feeling is because one among is Terraform is cloud agnostic. As I mentioned earlier, Terraform you can uh, use in AWS, or you can to launch resources in uh, Azure, 
or google gcp and vmware and other uh, api control pro, uh, you know providers you can use a terraform and which means you know in the same tool you can manage infrastructure across multiple cloud providers that, that's going to reduce your overhead and that's going to reduce your learning curve of managing multiple cloud specific tools and terraform allows you to automate your infrastructure deployments making it easier to manage your infrastructure scale and reduce the chance of manual errors because as i stated earlier when different people are at different shifts when you're using a terraform even though irrespective of whom they are to be deploying it is consistent across the board and uh, the other important point is you know terraform provides consistent and repeatable way of provisioning because that means if i'm if i'm using terraform code today for provisioning certain resources same code i can leverage to deploy the same resource n number of times and it's a, it's a configuration drift and inconsistency can be avoidable so uh, for in this video this is more about the basics but uh, in the next video i'm going to start with uh, you know with a hands on lab where you can deploy ec2 instance using a terraform code so uh, stay tuned for it and i can make more uh, hands on in that session and uh, how terraform is going to benefits uh, you can uh, you can watch in real time uh, so you can have more benefit out of it thanks for watching uh, i'll see you in next session